called. Kind of talk about what it was like. And when did you start getting phone calls from teams? One, I was already mad. The first, the first and fourth, I was already mad. And then, like, I seen other guys get picked or whatever. That made it even worse. So I just stopped watching the draft. So then uh, the Redskins called me when I was at the gas station because I was dealing with my cut. It's my old school car. And they called me while I was at the gas station. And uh, that's why I was talking to them. So then I got back home, whatever. I basically still messing with my car. And then uh, the draft was over. I say 15, 20 minutes later, Coach Harbaugh calls me. He said, you ready to be a Raven? <laughs> I said, yes, sir, I am. <laughs> and that's how that happened. Uh, but yeah, the whole process, though, like towards the end, I was, I was very disappointed. And uh, I just gave me some motivation uh, to go into this uh, mini camp to prove myself like, uh, like I've been doing all my life. Well, can I talk about that? That was you kind of almost read right off my sheet. Talk about motivation, just not getting drafted. Talk about that motivation to come in and really try to prove yourself. Oh yeah, uh, that's motivation. Period. Uh, it, everybody wants to get drafted, but I think certain people feel like they're better than other people, and and that's the way I felt going into the draft. Even though I would know I, I probably wasn't the first round pick, but you got seven, you got seven rounds, and I don't get picked. Like, no, uh, that's what I felt. Like, I know I'm better than some of the guys that's there. So when I didn't get picked, I'm like, I can't wait to just get the opportunity. If I just get the opportunity, I know I'll be fine and I'll be able to play in the league and stay in the league. But, uh, and the opportunity came with Baltimore. And I just, basically, I just can't wait to, to go in and just prove myself all over again. Uh, it's basically what I've been doing my whole life. So it's no different. Uh, I won't be able to, start over or anything, it's just a pick up where I just left from. Cool. Kind of going back to your time at WKU, uh, first off, what does it mean? I know Bobby, you've already graduated, Darius, you're graduating on Saturday. Talk a little bit about what it is to just be able to know that you've got your college degree and you've got your diploma. We'll start with Darius first. Well, actually, I walk on Saturday, but I won't get a chance. I'll be in Cincinnati, but uh, it's a nice thing to know, man. You know, you got something you can fall back on. You know, you ain't got nothing to worry about. You know, football don't work out. You have to come back to school. You know, knowing you're done, you can just go out and just start that career, you know. So hopefully everything just works out the best with football, man. Well, uh, that's the reason you go to college. is to get the degree. And football is just extra, really. Uh, and football just gives you a chance to be able to get that degree. But that's the whole reason you go to school is to get a degree. And that was my focus. Because uh, my mom, she don't, she don't play when it comes to grades. <laughs> Uh, I, I couldn't even play sports if I didn't have the grades. And a lot of people think, like, oh, you just get every, everything was handed to you. Nah, my mom didn't play. If I didn't have the grades, I couldn't play. And that's the whole point. You go to college just to get your degree and uh, pursue your, your dream through the degree that you want, that you uh, majored in. And, uh, and that's a great feeling to know. Uh, that's another accomplishment that I've made in my life and uh, that I'm proud of. And uh, my mom is proud of me uh, uh, for doing that. And, uh, like, Bruce was saying, uh, if you football don't go well, you also have your, your major fall back on. Talk a little bit about your experience playing here at WKU. Just, uh, you know, I'm sure over the time you guys got asked a lot of questions about, you know, what it meant to play here at WKU. And you guys itself had gone through a long, you know, process, a lot of losing, but this last season you won some. Just kind of sum up your, you know, four or five years here on the Hill. Well, it was a great five years, man. You know, great fans, you know, the ones that stuck with us through all the bad times, you know, we went through coaching changes, man, but you got to deal with stuff like that, man, you know. Like uh, Coach Tack and his staff, he brought some good guys in, you know, taught us the right thing to go and just made us focus more on school and just see what's more important, you know. So I think that everything's just on the rise here, man. They taught us a lot, you know, and I feel like they had the mindset, like they wanted everybody to have the mindset like, to go to the NFL, you know. Like, don't let nobody tell you you can't do nothing, you know, and stuff like that, man. But other than that, WK is a great place to be. I love it. Bobby, same question. Yeah. My experience here at Warriors has been great. Uh, starting out, like you're saying, that, it started off rough. But uh, in life, you got to go through struggle to get glory. So, and that's what happened with us this whole situation since we've been at Western. We started out with a struggle. And then we ended up where we wanted to be, or not as where we wanted to be, but in that direction of where this program is going. And uh, that's basically what Bruce was saying. Uh, 
The experience was great, man. Uh, we ran through a lot of coaches, a lot of different <laughs> coaches. And uh, the guys, like, we ran into, uh, they was great, man. It was different, but it was great, though. And uh, when Coach Tagger got here, though, that's when I felt like I was just in heaven when Coach Tagger got here because he, all the things that he he did for this program and his, his attitude and mindset, that was the exact same as mine. Coach Tagger's a winner. I feel like I'm a winner. And, and that's what I wanted, and that's what I wanted for this program, to win. That's why we came here, to win. And uh, what came out with, with uh, the struggle that we went through, and um, it was crazy because, well, I came from winning program. I don't know about Harris County. <laughs> <laughs> but, and then to come here and bear to lose, like, I never lost like that in my life. So, basically, I got both sides of it. I've, I've been part of a winning tradition, I've been part of a losing tradition. So therefore, I'm, I'm glad that I've noticed that now and or like getting into the hip, like the end of my life and, and then experiencing that. So like I said, it was, it was a great experience and not just like on the field, just like for us as a man also. So. Next question is kind of talk about the best moment. Like if you could pinpoint one thing you said, that's, that's what I'll remember. That's the best moment I had at WKU. What is it for you? Darius? Well, like you said, graduated, but I'm, the best moment here is winning that first game, man. You know, we had so many people down here and all that stuff, man. Like, the spirit just low, you know. But winning that first game, man, just see the smile on people's face and know that, you know, to take this program where we wanted to be, you know. But getting that first win, it felt good. And I think, but I just, like I said, we, I, I didn't win that much in high school, you know, but I hated losing, you know. But, and I just feel like, I came to college to win too, and I think it's a good program. We got the players to do it. And I just, I just glad we got to win. I, was, I didn't, I didn't want to go out like that. So, kind of talking about you guys have both mentioned, you know, the long road, but yet you guys feel like you've laid the, the foundation for what's going to come here. Kind of talk about laying that foundation, but also being able to come back in three to four years and what you're expecting to see and what what you guys are looking forward to seeing here at WKU. Well, I know as long as Coach Tagger's the head coach here, uh, Western football is going to be great. Uh, we would never ever experience a losing season like that again. Uh, I expect multiple conference championships here. Uh, I just there's a lot of great things that come from coming from uh, what we left off at, and uh, and that's a lot to do with Coach Tagger's presence. And uh, that, I guess this. I don't know if that's the vibe, the vibe that he gets, or whatever from other people and things like that, is it's just great. Uh, like I say, he's a winner, and uh, he, he he know how to win, and that's the thing we've been missing right here for a long time is knowing how to win. And uh, with Coach Tucker being here as the head coach, I expect great things, hands down. You know, like you said, I expect big things too, man. You know, Coach Tucker gonna get the, the good players in here, man. He gonna. Show him how to be a winner and stuff, man, and he gonna like just guide everybody in the right direction, you know, and show him that we expect nothing less than a conference championship. You know, we got close last year, you know, he expect nothing less. You know, he got the right staff here. He expect greatness out of everybody, even the trainers, the equipment guys, and everybody, man. You know, so I expect big things from him. Uh, this is to each one of you guys individually, but if you had one last parting message to all Hilltopper Nation. Just kind of, you know, saying, you know, kind of summing up everything, what would it be? And just you can look right into the camera, look at me, however you want to do it. But Bobby, you want to go first? Well, this is my motto for this year. Blame no one, make no excuses, do something. And you take that throughout your life, you'll be great. Hey, all I can say, man, look, WKU is on the rise. That means they stick together as a family. Forget the big blue nation, it's a big red nation around here. So let's get it. <laughs>